Hi, and welcome to another episode of Is Words to Many. And on the episodes, um, what I do is just to talk about some of those things that God taught me in my place of prayer and study of God's word. Um, I know God is going to bless you because, you know, when we learn from his other feet, he teaches us something new or something or he reinforces something that we have known before. Uh, so today, again, we are going to be looking at some of those things and I believe that we'll be blessed by it. Let's just pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for another time in your presence. We pray that your word will speak to our hearts and it will take us from one level to the other. It will move us forward from where we have been in the name of Jesus. Our lives, we have a turnaround. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. All right. So now we started talking about the life of noah uh, some things i learned from him and we have talked about a couple of things but today again we'll just continue from where we stopped the last time i was talking about the fact that noah ventured in an activity he or any other person has ever done i mean god asked him to build an ark nobody has done that why because a rain um, god is going to be sending rain on on the heart to destroy uh, the human race to destroy everything on earth. And God is looking for a way to preserve um, some lives and to, you know, increase or to continue some of those things that are, that were existing. And God said to Noah to build an ark. Nobody has ever done that before. I mean, it's it's gonna be it's, it's it sounds insane for God to say to someone to start building an ark, something that he has not seen before, something he has not heard before. And I was saying to us that God will always bring ideas in our hearts of things that nobody has done in our maybe in our families or in our lineage. Or even where we find ourselves in our environment, nobody has done it before. Maybe God is asking you to do a business that nobody has done, you know, around you before. And you're like, okay, so how am I going to do this? But I'm saying to you that, yes, when God said it to you, you don't have to uh, worry. Just do exactly what God is asking you to do. And let me tell you something. When God is asking you to do something, you always make provisions for everything that you need to make it a success now we'll continue from there today and today i will start by saying that it was a personal project you know god said to him um make yourself so it, 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 it's a personal project it's not about any other person persons all around him. it's about him you know god said to him make yourself and that's verse 14 i'm going to read that it says, um, make yourself an ark of gopher wood, make rooms in the ark and cover it inside and outside with pitch. So God wanted him to do it. It's not, it's not something that he's going to be doing with some people or with a group of people. So what is the lesson there? The lesson there is that when God is giving you an idea, it's not about people all around you. It's about you first because God said it to you. It is you that will understand it. It's not uh, people all around you might not understand what God has said to you. I mean, it might be, it might sound um, not realistic to people around you. And let me tell you something. Most times when you are about to do some big things, some great things, that is how it comes. When when the idea comes into your mind, you will, you will be like, okay. So nobody has done this before or, well, I've not seen anybody in my, in my, around me that's doing it. And uh, when you tell people around you, they may not, uh, it may not resonate with them. It might not make any sense to them. Why? Because it's not about them. They, they, they didn't get it. It's you that got it and you need to run with it. So it was a personal project. Most times when God gives you ideas, it's a personal thing and most people may not relate with it the reason is because it is personal projects don't be alarmed go for it yeah that's it go for it don't be alarmed it's it's coming to you because god wants you to be the initiator or the 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 mastermind of the project it's not 
for people to start telling you no it's not possible you can't do it yes people will always tell you that it's not possible you can't do it nobody has done it before uh it's not existing anywhere why are you thinking about it don't disturb yourself don't waste your money don't waste your time it cannot happen well i've come to say to you that it's they are saying their own when god has said it to you to do it hello Go for it. Go and do it. Don't be discouraged by what people say. I'll go to the next point. It says, there was a picture of what to be done in the mind of Noah. Do you have a mental picture of your destination? Now, in that place, God said to him, make an ark of gopher wood, make room inside, inside it. And you see, if you, if you look at other uh, verses in that scripture, it says, in verse 15, it says, And this is how you shall make it. The length of the ark shall be 300 cubits, its width 50 cubits, and its height 30 cubits. You know, God was giving him dimensions of exactly what that ark is going to look like. Now, the question I'm asking you is, do you have a mental picture of what God is saying to you? Or, Let's assume there's something you are trusting God to, to achieve in life. Do you have a mental picture of what it's going to look like? You see, um, do you have an idea of your final product? You need to be explicit about it. Like for the ark, it says um, an ark covered in and out with pitch. The ark is made of gopher wood. It has rooms. These were the descriptions of the end product. So the question to you is, do you have a description of the end product of what you're about to venture into, of what God is saying to you? If you're not clear about it, you need to go back to God and ask him, okay, how exactly do you want us to go about it? If God has dropped it in your mind, he will give you everything you need to make it a reality. Whatever, it, what, what it's going to look like, how it's going to look like. I mean, God will give you that idea. Before you start praying, describe what you want. Be specific about the final product. You see, a lot of people always pray for things. Um, I, 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 God, I need a new car. God, I need a new car. God, I need a new car. Now, the question is, what kind of car do you want? Do you want a used vehicle or you want a new vehicle? Now, if you want a new vehicle, what kind of brand? Is it Toyota or you want uh, you want uh, Ferrari or you want Hyundai? What kind of product do you want? Now, what what do you want the inside to look like? What 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 facilities do you want to have in that vehicle? The same thing for career. You say uh, I want to be a doctor. What kind of doctor do you want to be? Do you want to be a um, a medical doctor or you want to be um, um, animal doctor um, veterinary doctor which one do you want to do some people say ah, I want to be I want to be I want to do I want to be dealing with computers what exactly do you want to do do you want to be a software engineer do you want to be a solution architect do you want to be a an hardware de uh, designer what exactly do you want to do? Okay, uh, I want to get married. Uh, 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 Lord, give me a, a good man. What kind of man are you looking for? Do you want someone that will um, compliment you or someone that will not? Do you want him to be... Um, what, what kind of... What, what, do you, what do you anticipate in what God is going to give to you or what God asks, that you are asking God for? You need to be specific about those details. And God will now look at those details and then align you with what you are asking for. Most times we don't see beyond our nose, like they say. But God knows the end of everything. And it is Him that we can always go to to guide us in all we are doing. So what am I saying today? Be specific about what you are trusting God for. Or when God has given you an idea, go to God to tell you exactly what it should be how he wants you to run with it and i'm sure god will you know guide and speak to you i believe we have learned something new today um 
run with it don't just be idle run with it god is dropping things in your heart run with it make it a reality and i know that god has given you the idea we make it a reality for you in the name of jesus have a great one and see you same time next week god bless you